Hello my dear friends a very warm welcome to you to agile art thanks for taking your time and tuning in to another art video on my channel as always i promise you that this video is also going to be very different from what you have seen before without any further ado let's get started with this tutorial which would be on epoxy art resin so in order to work with epoxy resin first of all we need to know what is epoxy resin so epoxy art resin is a very versatile material that is used in wide variety of crafts it basically consists of two parts being the clear resin and the resin hardener which i'll be showing it to you in the video shortly the resin inside the bottle is very clear and flowy consistency but once it sets up it becomes so hard that it is also called as liquid glass because it hardens like a glass and it is clear as glass that's why it is also called as liquid glass so because of this the advantage is that you can pour it into molds and create multiple decorative items out of it however resin is a very strong chemical so it has to be used with lot of care so what all can you create with epoxy resin like i said molds can be used you can pour your raw resin into the molds and create designs of your choice and use it in home decor you can use it as a clear gloss coating in your acrylic fluid artworks and make them pop you can mix it with your acrylic paints and create marbleized surfaces you can also use it to create glossy texture to your furniture and also creating jewelry items how to work with epoxy resin resin basically has two parts like i said a clear resin and a resin hardener so it has to be mixed in the ratio 2 is to 1 most of the times depending on the brand this ratio changes but like i said in majority of brands it is mixed in the ratio 2 is to 1 which also will be seen in the video shortly so the hardener has to be one part however the clear resin has to be taken in two parts so the ratio is 2 is to 1 so you have to ensure you secure your hands with gloves secure your face with proper face mask secure the painting surface on which you are going to create the resin art works with proper plastic sheets because if the resin is spilt on these surfaces it becomes very difficult to remove and your table will go for a toss So this is the resin kit what I'll be using. It is the epoxy art resin kit from Itsy Bitsy. You can easily purchase any art resin from any of the online stores. So these are examples of some of the silicone molds what I was talking about. So molds also comes in variety of shapes, sizes, etc. So based on the decor whatever you wish to create, you can use the desired shape. So without wasting further time let's jump straight into the video and let's see how to mix up the resin and how to use it to create spectacular artwork So like I mentioned in the earlier presentation I'll be using this epoxy art resin so it basically comes in two parts which is the hardener and the clear resin This has to be mixed in the ratio as per what the brand suggests For this brand the mix ratio is 2 is to 1 as in two parts of the clear resin to be mixed with one part of the hardener so i'll be using this plastic cup what you are seeing here i'm using a kitchen scale here for doing the proper measurement because if you mess up with the ratio of the mixing then you'll not be getting the required outcome so this is the plastic cup i'll be using for doing the mixing so let's shake up the bottle well before even pouring the material into the plastic cup shake 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 Okay so now i think we are ready to pour the material into the plastic cup and start the mixing i'll be using a palette knife for uh, mixing up both of the parts together inside the plastic cup thoroughly i'll be using this butane torch this is needed in order to remove any air bubbles from the resin which will hamper the flow of the resin so butane torch comes handy so i'm adding the art resin here so like i said i'll be adding two parts of the resin and i'll be adding one part of the hardener so i don't know if the video is able to pick up the scale measurement however i'm sorry if it hasn't picked up the visual scale properly so i have added 100 parts of the clear resin and i'll be adding 50 parts of the hardener which comes to the ratio 2 is to 1 like i mentioned before So I don't know if you can see the scale here I've lifted it up for you it's 
I hope you were able to see that. So 100 parts of the clear resin is what I had taken. Now the next step is pouring the hardener. So if it is 2 is to 1 ratio then I would be requiring 50 parts of hardener right. So I will be pouring 50 parts of hardener now. So guys, like I said, you have to secure your hands with proper gloves when you are working with resin. If you can notice my hand, so I have secured it with proper uh, gloves. I have secured my face with a face mask. Obviously, I have not shown my face here. You would not be able to see my face, but I had secured it with a proper mask. Because usually the resins what you get in the store, they have a lot of odor. And uh, resin is lot of chemical based product right so it's always not advisable to work with a nude face so always wear a mask and always ensure you wear gloves because if it sticks onto your hand it becomes very very difficult and especially your hairs so secure it with a proper rubber band or a ribbon and ensure it doesn't fall on your face because if you touch your hair with the resin then you have to end up cutting it up so here I am mixing it as you can see the measurement is done the pouring is done I am using the palette knife like I showed so thoroughly it has to be mixed you ensure you do the mixing for almost like two to four minutes so uh, there, how do you know whether the resin has been mixed thoroughly so you have to scrape the resin from the bottom and from the sides while you are mixing up so after three to four minutes what happens is that it appears like a clear liquid so it becomes very clear now you are able to see that it's not yet clear right after thoroughly keep on mixing it for three to four minutes so i have mixed it up for three to four minutes and you can see it has become so clear so this is the consistency wherein it is ready to be used in your artwork so the resin is ready now so the resin is ready to be used in the artwork now in the upcoming videos, I will show you how to use this resin and pour it into molds and create lot of resin work. In this current video, we will be seeing how to use this resin and create a glitter broken glass artwork using this resin. I will be using resin and I will be using broken glass glitter in order to do this artwork. So as you can see, this is a heart what I have drawn on my canvas. The sides of the canvas what you can see it is secured with a masking tape so that the resin doesn't get spilled over there. You will know why I have secured that with the masking tape once I remove it. Okay so let it be a suspense till then. Okay so I have as you can see coating the heart structure whatever is there in the canvas with the resin whatever we created in the earlier part of the video. So now this is done, I am just removing off my gloves. What I will be using next is broken glass glitter. So the broken glass I have ordered from Amazon, I will be linking that in the description box below. I wanted to create some very chunky glitter like artwork for my home decor. And uh, you can also use Mod Podge in order to set this but then resin has its own uh, appeal and its own finish as what you would be able to see once this product is ready. You will be able to understand why I am insisting to use resin. Resin actually sticks whatever is put on its surface once it dries up. So the same effect you will not be able to get with Mod Podge or Fevicol and there are chances that this broken glass glitter or whatever you are adding on top can spill out or can fall off once the product is dried however that doesn't happen with resin so pour 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 i'm pouring almost the entire bottle of the broken glass here as you can see because i want some chunky very special kind of effect in order to be hanged on my wall right so i'm uh, not doing any uh, uh, what do you call i'm not saving up the product here i'm reusing the entire thing so as you can see I have put up the whole bottle here and here I am using uh, plain gold glitter here. I am just filling up the sparse spaces where the broken glass didn't uh, make its way and just filling it up with the same colored glitter. So this is a normal glitter. So I am also adding some of the gold flakes 
whatever I had and I am just coating it on top with little amount of resin so that everything sticks on together once it dries up and nothing falls apart because I want that heart to be very glittery, very chunky even after it gets dried up and I do not want to lose any of the material whatever I put on top. So this broken glass it is very reflective. What happens is that when you hang it on a wall it gives a 3D effect also and it gives a very nice shiny surface. So this is done. I have removed the masking tape as what you can see from the video. So the hard shape is very good. It's undisturbed. The rest of the canvas is clean and uh, I don't know how much you can make out from the video but it is highly reflective to be seen and it looks very punchy in the eye and looks very nice. So in order to go with the re rest of the items on the canvas, so what I'm using here is a pearl metallic color in the shade pink. I thought of using one more shade to the bottom. Again, I'm using uh, another metallic color here. It is copper metallic color. So you can use any shade of your choice. So I thought for gold, these two colors will go hand in hand and it will build a harmony together if I'm using a pearl color rather than a matte color. So which is why this specific color choice if you ask me. And when I thought about uh, what other colors, uh, I felt that this two color combination looks good. So the resin whatever was left, I am pouring onto the canvas now, spreading it thoroughly with the wooden popsicle as what you can see. So ensure there are no air bubbles and it is thoroughly spread. So because once it dries up, this acts as a coating, like a glass coating on the painting. And you don't even have to put a frame to your painting. You can just put a hanger to your painting and hang it. It will give a look as though like you have embossed or fixed a glass on top of your painting. So this is how the product looks even after the resin dries up. It gives such a glossy texture, such perfect choice for home decor, I can't even tell you. So my next video would be a resin ocean art tutorial using the items what you see in the image above. So stay tuned for further such interesting video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to Agile Art if you haven't yet. Thank you so much. See you soon in my next video.